So guys, you will have just seen me foam rolling because I was advised to by my physio and I've been having some knee issues as you know. So uh, going through this session, actually my knee felt much better and I won't talk too much about my knee because I have some things coming up about that later. So here you're just getting my RDLs. So you will have seen this on the kind of professional vlog uh, done by Gordon Greenhorn. And that was my week before deload performance and focus and intent. Whereas this is my week one. So a little bit less volume, actually still two sets. And that's all I did in that final week too, because as I said in the video, my MRV is much lower. So my ability to do more volume is much less in terms of number of hard sets. But my RER here is closer to three, four possibly, uh, where I'm just taking it to the point where I'm like, that last rep was, that was a hard last rep. And I've just matched performance again, 150 kilos for 10 reps or eight reps, something along those lines. I can't actually remember off the top of my head. And that's just repeating performance. And I've repeat that same performance. The last, this would be my third mesocycle in a row. And that's okay. I'm dieting. I'm almost 20 pounds lighter than I was at the start. So actually that's more than okay. That's very good. Uh, something I have changed in this, in this, workout is I'm now doing lying leg curls in combination with the RDLs just for some variation. Uh, I was just finding that doing the seated leg curls twice a week was just starting to feel not great and I was getting some fatigue in areas that you wouldn't want it outside of the muscle basically. So I'm moving to the lying leg curl which felt great and it felt nice to just have a little bit of novelty, a little bit of a different stimulus uh, both lying and seated leg curls can be part of a, a well-rounded program. So I'm happy having this in here and it might be that I transition my other leg curl eventually to being lying. And so I've got lying leg curls twice a week at some point, but we'll see. Uh, I think having this three different movements for my hamstrings at the moment is working quite nicely. So then I've got my hack squats, which I did change because of my knee and you'll see, actually, no, this is a different session. So I was going to say my first session of week, I'm doing a paused hack squat and I was watching this and I was thinking, I ain't pausing there, am I? Because these aren't paused. So this is my usual cluster set. So I do one set, sorry, kind of my set. I'm doing uh, to three to four RAR. I'm taking three breaths up at the top and then going again. Again, I just repeat performance on last mesocycle, which I'm pleased with. I've got no problems with that. Um, if I can continue to just keep maintaining off-season performance throughout my entire diet, I'm extremely pleased. These actually felt okay on my knees. So this is my second session of the week, uh, of week one, where I'd been feeling kind of some of these knee issues. And these felt all right. Uh, not 100%, not amazing, but they're getting better and better. And those of you following me closely on Instagram, see here's where I'm taking my breathers up at the top will have noticed that I've changed how I do these in that I'm no longer using the plates, which I am here, but because I went home on the weekend to my parents, I picked up some yoga blocks and I'm putting the yoga blocks under my shoulders. So the shoulder pads are thicker. So I don't have to stand on these plates. What's great about that is, uh, it's actually just nicer pressing off the platform than the plates. And you'll see some of my feet are a bit off the plates there. So I just don't get as good force production. Whereas I, it's just more comfortable pushing off the, the plate at the bottom that you're intended to use. So here, my leg extensions, using my vans for a little bit of extra range of motion, every little bit counts, right? So uh, with these, again, just taking them to that kind of point at which that last rep is getting really, really challenging. What I found myself doing on leg extensions is probably taking them a bit too far in week one. So I've just dialed it back a little bit because I was essentially hitting a brick wall of no RR um, earlier in my mesocycle than I intended. So I've just brought them back a little bit and I was getting way too much stimulus in that first week. I was getting very sore. So um, I just dialed these back a little bit and they felt good. So overall, good session, good first week of training. I'm pleased with how things are going right now. So I'm very excited by what I have in this box just here because it's just a fun little toy to be honest. Uh, something I've probably slightly taken the piss out of, not to a huge extent and more so in my own head than necessarily to anyone, but it's something that I think is gonna be really useful for my quad 
uh, and I'll talk about the issues my quad's been going through or I've already talked about it to you at some stage here. So uh, this is, let's get into it. So let's see. So can you see what it is yet? Yeah, kind of. So funny enough, I've actually been offered deals for posts and stories for getting one of these, which is a dildo gun, <laughs> a massage gun. So this is, yeah, the Me Back brand of massage gun. So this is like soft tissue work. Uh, you might pummel your quads, pummel your neck, that sort of thing. And yeah, like I said, I've actually been offered to get one of these in return for posts and for reviews and stuff. And I just always didn't really see the use for it, but recently I have. And so I just thought, well, I'm just gonna pick one up on Prime. So the reason I went for this particular one, the Mibak, uh, is because it was reduced, first of all, from 100 to 70. So I got on a deal and it had like over 7,000 reviews and all five star. So I was kind of like, that's how I tend to go for products on Amazon. It's just like, they've got a lot of good reviews. It's gotta be a pretty good product. And uh, this was like, not the most expensive, but not the cheapest. So. I'll get it out, I'll show you it, I'll pummel myself with it. Um, but my knee is feeling dramatically better after doing soft tissue work on it. Essentially, let's, let's do this chat now. So what was wrong was uh, my left knee was feeling very tight. I was complaining about it in my later, in a, a vlog in my fourth week, fifth week of training before deloading and I was almost not sure if I'd be able to finish that session or train my quad. And it was still causing me issues coming into my first week after deloading and essentially, uh, my left knee feels very kind of like tight and sticky uh, as I walk and as I was going up steps or ledges I would get pain in that knee and it would feel very weak. Downstairs fine, absolutely not a problem. Training not too bad. So I essentially described those symptoms to Mike uh, and it hasn't really got obvious inflammation. Mike our physio, Magic Mike, who has also been on the vlogs, hopefully many of you are aware of him, and he thinks, uh, he thought that maybe it was just because my quad was maybe a bit overworked and kind of tight and it was just like pulling on bits of the knee. He would have had much better descriptive words than this, which is making it feel the way it was. So he was like, do some soft tissue work on it, do some foam rolling, which was incredibly painful. I used my rumble roller, as you will have seen, and uh, that definitely helped. And uh, it's only been getting and feeling better. Doing the foam rolling, for me, there's a barrier to entry because it's a bit annoying. And also when I foam roll on the floor, Ada licks the, my face and gets all funny and upset. So I can, I also tried like massaging it myself and Charlotte could, but this arguably is going to be just ultimately super convenient to do it. Also, there's various attachments. Again, I'm sure I'll show you, but Mike thinks I should be doing some soft tissue work and some stretching for my upper back, which I haven't been doing because of wearing the weighted vest all the time. So this is good because I'll be able to do some soft tissue work with it. Just kind of just sitting on the sofa watching Love Island or whatever in the evening so I can use it. So that's why I ended up picking it up really. Uh, it's not gonna be magic, but I think uh, when you are using something a lot and something feels a bit off, it's always worth kind of just using a bit of soft tissue work and I have found that to be beneficial. So if I can stay on top of my soft tissue work a bit better by having this, I will. I haven't reviewed it yet. I don't know if it's gonna help but that's why I bought it. That's kind of, yeah, the, the rationale. And was there anything else? Hmm. No, I can't think of anything right now. I'm sure I had something else to say, but at the moment, I'm just gonna yeah, have to try it out and let you know how I get, I get on with it. And uh, that's it. Guys, I realized Ada hadn't been in any of my vlogs for a while, I think. I had to show you her with her new haircut. Uh, she's just... I'm very, very biased, but she's like the cutest thing in the entire world. Ada! Ada! Look at me! Yeah, that's it. <gasps> oh, I was a good girl. Yeah, you. So, it comes in this nifty little case. You open up. And it has a bunch of information, which I probably should look over it sometimes. Oh, it's got warranty, 12 month warranty, free warranty, that's nice. Didn't even realize that. It's got some attachments here. And then it has another nice little case, I think with further attachments in there. I guess these are some of the main ones you would use. 
So you turn it on, on the base here, get that in focus, you probably don't even need to see it, it's got like a switch on the base and that's where you charge it as well. And then it turns on the back here, which is like, it's got the power on there, so you can see it's on 80. I mean you basically just tap here and it goes up, up, harder and harder, and then you can turn it back. And it has different attachments on the end, just here. And it keeps going out of focus for you guys, so I apologize. So guys, I just wanted to finish this vlog saying thank you as always for tuning in. It's highly appreciated. If you haven't yet, do subscribe, do like, give me a comment, let me know what you wanna see, what you enjoy, it's always appreciated. And I also wanted to say, one thing on the uh, the massage gun, which I've forgotten what it's called actually, the name of it, but you would have seen me using it, and on one side was the speed, on the other side was pressure. So as you push harder into a, the muscle, it will start going up, and you kind of want to avoid it getting into the, the highest zone because it's probably a little bit too much pressure, which is pretty cool. Apparently not many of these type of guns do that, after I researched a little bit more after purchasing it, to let you guys know. And then the number there was the amount of minutes left of charge. So the reason it changes as you speed up or as you put more pressure is that uses more energy, right? So it's telling you how many minutes of use if you keep up that style of use it's got. Uh, just after like using it, I was like, what is this number? So it comes with a pre-charge. It comes with like, I don't know, it came with like 80 minutes of charge or something. I think it actually has two hours worth of charge there. So uh, yeah, apparently it's one of the better ones, like I said. So if you pick it up or whatever, let me know in the comments as well. Like I said, it's not something that I thought I would invest into. I didn't think it was something that was necessarily like evidence-based, but soft tissue work, I think definitely has its place. And uh, I am the first to admit I was a bit ignorant to that and didn't take care of that for myself. And uh, I'm so glad to have someone like Mike Chalice on the team to have helped me out because I had a leg session today. My knee's been feeling better than ever. And my knee felt great in that leg session today as well. So ever since I implemented just foam rolling, which if you've got a foam roller, you don't need this percussion, like uh, what is it called, the, the, the gun, uh, the massage gun, uh, you can just foam roll because that was doing the job for me. It was just awkward. And I like the thought of using this gun on other areas and seeing what I can yeah, get out of it and see if it's gonna help me. And I can stay on top of things a bit better than kind of the foam roller was just a little bit inconvenient. And we wanna remove barriers, especially to things that we want to get done during our day. So that's what I'm doing, I'm removing a barrier. Anyway, guys, thank you as always for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Take care, revive strong as always.